Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Visio to create an office layout. So I'm on the new screen and there you can see office layout. So I'll just click on that one and create. And then it will open up Visio and give me the stencils that I need for an office layout. So you can see you've got quite a few stencils in this template. So I've got the top there, cubicles, a list of different cubicles. Just pull one on there so you can see. So they're quite big. Just delete that off. Office accessories, like plants and things. Office equipment, like printers. Some of these are quite old looking. Office furniture, so tables and like boardroom tables and things like that and then walls doors and windows so you've got a room which is defaulting by 3 to 2.5 meters so this is what I'm going to use to create an office layout so just get rid of that one now the first thing I'm going to do is create the actually outside space of the office which is what I'm going to use these um, stencil icons to achieve so I've got the option there of just putting a space on the on the screen or I can use the walls using this room feature which is what I'm going to do so I'll just delete that one off and put a wall on there now it's telling me three meters by 2.5 meters it's in millimeters but that's what it means if you go to the view tab you've got some task panes that you can select and the one I suggest you have on the screen is size and position this one because that will tell you the size of this room so that's but that's the XY's position from the bottom corner but there's there's the actual measurements if I say I want a four meter by five meter let's see what that looks like room now that's gone a bit off the screen so let's just change that around so I'll go five meters across and down and then do the other way around four meters now so I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes but that measurement would have to be the actual measurement of the room now the chances of you getting a room that's exactly that uh, shape without any funny bits jutting in or out is quite s small I would suggest but for this you just get the idea now I want to put a door in, in here so let's do a door so the, you put the door it defaults at 90 centimeters you can position that this little circle means you can just swing that door so it opens the other way whichever way you want and you can flip it as well if you want it to, to go the other way completely and now I also want a window so I'll put a window in that wall and again that's going to default to a set size 90 and then one opposite it you can see the line there lining it up and then I'll do one on the other wall and it'll just snap in place like so and let's make this one 120 so if I click the window it tells me the measurement it's 900 so if I go to um, 1.2 meters which is 1200 that just makes that a bit bigger and you can see how that works like so now I want to put some power sockets in here on this wall so if I go to office equipment you've got PowerPoint there and switches light switches and stuff so if I just put a PowerPoint and stick it there so you can see that's a plug socket and I'll put one down here as well that's a plug socket and then I'll put one up here that needs spinning around and that's a plug socket as well so it needs to come down a little bit just to get it to snap onto the like so and then you've got a telephone jack which I can put there as well just get that to sit on the wall so it's gone through the wall a little bit I suppose it would go through the wall but let's, let's show it going through the wall However you want that 
to sit so however that should sit I'm not quite sure how that should sit so it doesn't look right like that but I'll just push it that way around and then bring it forward a little bit yeah that looks a bit better for people that are builders proper builders and designers and people that use do technical drawing they'll know how this all fits but for this little demonstration that's how I'm going to put it now I don't want any of this other stuff just yet but what I now need to do is I want to lock this down I want to create a layer so this doesn't move because I don't want to actually well I will do it let's see what happens if I move the wall these have all been left behind and so I'm just going to do control Z undo to make sure they stay there and then I'm going to highlight all of this so everything is selected so I don't want any of that to move, I want that to stay as it is while I add other things. Now to create a layer, what you need to do is go back to the Home tab and on the right here you've got Layers, you've got two options in there, Assign to Layer and Layer Properties. So Assign to Layer, I'm going to create a new layer, none of these. New, I'm just going to call it Steve. Okay. So this is called Steve, should be at the bottom there. OK, and then you go to Layer Properties to lock this down. So there's all the different layers, that's all the different elements I've brought on there. I come down to Steve, just going to lock Steve, and then OK. Now you can see that that's, I can't move any of this. It's all locked, which is what I want. Obviously don't lock it down until you're ready for it to be locked. So let's go back to office furniture and let me get a desk. So what kind of desk do I want? If I go for this, that's quite a big desk. So it gives you the measurements there. Three meters. And if I spin that around the other way, so this is going to be like a boardroom sort of meeting room. Bring that down a little bit. So it's more, to, there's a door coming in and then there's you've got a bit of space to walk all around the room okay so I'm happy with that now little items you can put in there so that table's quite big um, let's go for a smaller table we can change the size of the table anyhow so private office desk casual table let's go for that one that's quite small let's just put that in the corner we can put some little books on there nothing too fancy go to office equipment and I've got plug sockets there. I might put a tablet on this table and I might put a keyboard on this table. So you can use this to project onto a screen, which I haven't got at the minute. So that's... Um, tablet and a keyboard. I'll put a projection screen on that's going to go above that window and when it's in use it can cover the window, that doesn't matter. Just sit it there so you can sit here, you can project onto this screen so that's okay. Now if we go to office accessories we've got all these things so let's do a little plant on there to give it some colour and then you've got all these different features like a coffee machine normally in these sort of places you would have a coffee machine so if I go for back to office equipment office furniture in fact I'll get that small table again casual table and stick it in this corner and then I can put the coffee machine on that maybe Office accessories, coffee machine, it's not too big. There we go. There's a little coffee machine in there as well. And there's nothing else in there I want. And then cubicles. I'm not doing cubicles in this one, but that would be a different office space. But this is just the boardroom space. And you can see how it all works. And each element you click on, you can adjust the size. So if you purchase a table, you'll know what the size of the table is. You type the size in here, and then that represents that table but I suggest before you even do that you make sure it's going to fit in the actual room itself getting in through the door for example if it's all one piece it might be quite a difficult process 
So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a very simplistic office plan using Microsoft Visio. So thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.